and I'm going to create a box here. I'm just going to put it here. And now I'm just going to try to put the boundaries of the box in position. And with my poly edit, I can just go back, select one face and move it like this. I can select up, move it like that. And just by doing that, like I'm having like a bounding box where I can select the mesh that I want. I will just click accept. So what I can do is click on this and then click on this box and then I can go to mesh boolean. Okay. By default, you will have the difference between A and B, which A will be the first object you selected. B will be the second object you selected. I believe intersection is what we're looking for. It's the, you know, the intersection of both. And the output type I will put from input, which is a static mesh, right to a new object. And this will be called my small house. I want to keep the inputs. Click accept. So now that we have it, we can move this thing here. You can move your house here. One issue that we have is that the pivot point is here and it's a little bit annoying to work with this kind of stuff so very easy we can just go to pivot point here for now you can just move the pivot point where you want try to move it a little bit above the ground so that when you drag it when i drag it everything is like nice in the ground i should go even lower like this the problem ab about this type of scans sometimes things are floating so in this case, you can go for a triangle selection and go for 0 0.1 maybe one size and click on those. I will just delete those. Here is very, very dark. And when I go to the normals, a little bit brighter. And here you want to enable Nanite. Apply changes. And you see that I have another material here, which I don't want. So it would be very easy to remove. Okay, let's just go back here to attributes, material edit. And you will see that you have two materials. Just delete this one. By default, it will put complex collision on your meshes, which are very heavy. Each polygon will be counted as collision, and that's very heavy for games. It's good for prototyping because you don't need to add a collision every time you do some things. But you can go here to collision complexity and put on project default, and you should be good to go. And I, if I want, I can duplicate this one. And I can go here, make it a little bit taller. And you will think that it's another one. Thank you.